Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-14 from RC Hippeler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the stretch, stretch in springs AC and AB for equilibrium of the 2 kg block. The springs are shown in the equilibrium position. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to find some angles. So for that, if I draw a straight line at point A and we have to find this angle right here and that angle let's call this angle theta and let's call this angle a phi here theta is same as this angle right here because they are alternate angles and same goes for phi so for theta we can use the ratio of 10 theta we have 10 theta is equal to the perpendicular which is 3 meters upon the adjacent which is 4 meters from here theta is equal to 36.86 degrees now for phi we can again use the ratio of 10 theta but here we have phi so now the perpendicular is 3 divided by the adjacent which is also 3. So from here phi is equal to 45 degrees. Now we have found the angles. Now let's draw a free body diagram of point A. So I have one force of the weight acting downwards. which is 2 into 9.81 I have one force which is acting at a angle of theta the spring force of FAB and I have one more force of the spring force FAC at an angle of 45 degrees Let's call this phi F A C. Now I can also resolve these two inclined forces into their components. So I have one vertical component and one horizontal component. Let's call this F A B sine theta and this one is F A B cos theta again we have one vertical component and one horizontal component let's call this FAC sine phi and this one is FAC cos phi now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium so for the equations of equilibrium We have some of the forces in y direction equal to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have FAB sine theta and the theta is 36.86 degrees plus FAC sine phi and phi is 45 degrees minus this weight which is 19.6 newtons equal to 0 so this is our equation let's call this equation 1 we have one more equation of some of the forces in x direction equals to 0 I'm considering right hand side as positive so we have if I zoom out FAP cos theta but theta is 36.86 degrees minus FAC cos phi 
and pi is 45 degrees equals to 0 let's call this equation 2 now from equation 2 from equation 2 I can make FAB as the subject so FAB is equals to FAC into cos 45 divided by cos 36.86 degrees which in turns is equals to 0 0.884 FAC now if we put it into in equation 1 then from here equation 1 would become 0 0.8 for 4 FAC into sine 36.86 plus FAC sine 45 equals to 19.6 so from here FAC is equals to 15.84 newtons now if I put 15.84 newtons equals to FSC in equation let's call this equation A in equation A then from here I have FAB is equals to 14 newtons but what we had to find, we had to determine the stretch in the springs AC and AB. Now we have to find the stretch which means the change in the length. So for a stretch, we have to remember the Hooke's law which is force into spring constant into the change in length delta x basically. So we have delta x for the spring AC is equals to FAC which is 15.84 divided by the spring constant of the spring AC which in this case is 20 newtons per meter. So from here stretch is equals to 0. 79 meters and for a stretch of the spring AB we have 14 over the spring constant which is 30 is equals to 0 0.467 meters this is the answer to this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and i already have uploaded the solutions of the same chapter from the same book so you can also check them out the link is in the description thank you